Yo, 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 what's up? Uh, boxing fan motherfucker. Um, we're pretty chill today. I got the, you know, I'm here at the UNLV basketball. Snuck downstairs as usual. Um, if you look around, this is the uh, University of Nevada, Las Vegas basketball program. We have a story program here. For those uh, boxing fans out there, this is where a lot of, uh, you know, um, Zab Judah versus Floyd Mayweather was held here. Also, Manny Pacquiao versus Eric Morales II was here, I believe. I'm pretty sure it was here. Um, a lot of history in this in this uh, in this um, arena. Uh, we are home of the. Let me educate you faggots out there. 1990 basketball championship. Uh, 31 years ago, going to be 32 years ago. No, 33 years ago. Uh, we beat the shit, dog shit, curb stomp, the media darling known as Duke Basketball. Beat them by 30 points. And... Um, we're gone along. We fell off the radar, basically. Um, uh, everyone here in the current college game, uh, you know, uh, basketball itself got watered down. So what happened is all the top talent, the cream of the creme, creme de la creme of basketball players, they automatically get drafted into the NBA. So that leaves a whole void of regular basketball players who aren't as good as NBA players and um, it's it's a little bit more uh, less professional but it still has its professional roots because we still you have to play pay players under the table and shit so uh, this is it look uh, they're doing warm-ups they're dunking and that's a start um, for those out there who don't watch basketball, uh, please root for my team. Not root, but these guys play defense. One thing you have to do in uh, college basketball or at this level under Lon, uh, Lon Kruger, Coach Kruger, Kevin Kruger, uh, he wants to play defense, and that's a lost art today. Because a lot of people don't like to defend, cause turnovers, and and uh, play on the ball defense, and that's what we kind of do. Uh, he's he's got a uh, his team plays defense, and while we're not high flying, we used to dunk all over uh, old teams and stuff. We used to run and score in the hundred fifties. Uh, it's 2022. You got to play a lot smarter and to your strengths. Uh, all the athletes. You know, that's just more than just dunking a basketball and outrunning someone. Uh, back in the day, we did. We had the athletes to uh, run. But the game has, has uh, evolved, you know, and Coach Kruger is bringing back that uh, hard-nosed defense-first mentality that was uh, missing on prior teams. So let me know what you guys think. Uh, all my boxing uh, people out there, uh, what's up? There's a new guy, his name is Ellerby, up on the boxing boards. What's up, dude? Um, just a bunch of new people. Fear not, mad props to him. He is uh, banished. And to my check hook bitches out there, uh, just have a good, safe season. Uh, be safe out there. It's, it's, a, it's a rough world out there, man. Uh, just living outside uh, Vegas past two years I've walked around and it is doom and gloom bro so sports is our getaway you know away from all the bullshit in life and that's what the rebels do they they're my escape to away from reality because reality is pretty um it's not really good right now man everyone is struggling and shit so uh I'll see you guys try to score poon tonight <laughs>
But I look like an old man. I got a fisherman's hat. That's not not good. So well, I should be over there, but nah. I'd rather uh, make fun of people. Um, be in the stands and just talk shit. All right. Boise State. Giving you guys a preview. Uh, their head coach. His name is Leon Rice. No, uh, he's a, he's he's a mid-level coach, dude. He sucks, dude. Never won anything. His team's really underachieved. I mean, you know, he's got the history and shit, but he's just a he's just a mid mid-age wanker. He's he's got no aspirations. I mean, no one's gonna poach him. He's a lifer. So he's been able to put a, a good small time program, and it's it's got him some wins. So. Uh, let me know what you guys think the game. I'll link pretty soon so you guys can watch. But, uh, no, I don't see anybody. If you look around, they're all just a bunch of white supremacists. Relatives of. <laughs> right? I mean, that's just how it is in, in Iowa. Besides, uh, you know, you got a history of uh, sheltering uh, white supremacists up there. So, uh... That is the scuttle, the scuttlebutt. I'll talk to you guys later. Peace out.